For the first time since Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell have been in charge of the Detroit Lions, they are picking outside the top 10. I mean, outside the top 20, even the top 25 were picking in the last four picks of the NFL draft because of the success of the Detroit Lions 2023 NFL season. And Brad Holmes is very excited about this. He talks about it being how you have to do more of your research. And he's more excited now than he was the first three years under the regime because of the diligence that you have to do. And I saw this from, shout out to Motor City Brit and everyone else who keeps dropping me information. You can send me something via direct message on Twitter or you can email with the link in the description if you have anything that you want me to talk about. But send me an article. And I saw this in my Twitter feed as well, that according to Tony Pauline, Frank Ragnow could be retiring after the 2024 NFL season. And the reason this came up is because of the center that will be coming out from Oregon by the name of Jackson Powers Johnson. Where could he go? Now, if the Detroit Lions take any any other position outside of defense, I'm 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 going to be a bit concerned, a bit concerned. But I will say this. I will say this. I'm going to let the entire draft play out before I pop a gasket because I understand that there is some second round talent that we can use that is on the defensive line or the cornerback position as well. Even in the third round, that could be immediate contributors when it comes to the Detroit Lions. But here's what he had to say about Frank Ragnar says, also keep the Detroit Lions on the radar for JPJ. The Lions have an aging interior offensive line, including Mr. Zeke uh, Zeitler that we signed to a one-year deal and former first-round pick Frank Ragnow. Sources tell me this could be Ragnow's final season and he may retire once the Lions campaign in 2024 is completed. Now, this is, I'm going to keep it a buck. When Frank Ragnow was drafted in 2018, I remember the day like it was yesterday. With the 20th pick in the NFL draft, in the 2018 NFL draft, the Detroit Lions select Frank Ragnow. And I remember saying, who? I remember being being absolutely livid about that. Right, because I'm trying to figure out what exactly are we doing at this point? What are we doing? Are we I I just I didn't I didn't fully get it. I didn't fully get it that year. And that's one thing that Bob Quinn was able to do for the Detroit Lions. Bob Quinn was able for the Detroit Lions to really kind of start the building blocks for that offensive line. We took Taylor Decker, we took Frank Ragnow. And because of that, that's what get gives us the ability to deal with the Panay Sewell, right? And an inevitable lineman that we're going to take. But what about Frank Ragnow retiring from the Detroit Lions after this year? Now, if I understand correctly, Frank still has two more years on his deal after this season. I'm not certain. I didn't go double check that to make sure that was the case. But Frank Ragnow potentially retiring after the 2024 NFL season. So what does that mean? Could we take a center in the first round? How would you feel if we take a center in the first round? The last time I popped the gasket, this time I wouldn't, but I would just really still be concerned about that defensive front. Right? I, I would because I understand what Brad would be trying to do. Back in 2018, I didn't really understand it. I, I see what Brad is trying to do. You have to build through the draft. And if your foundation is just like this, in any situation, your foundation is falling apart. You have to repair it. You got to keep that foundation strong. And the strength of our team is the offensive line. Right? That is the strength of our team. So, Frank Ragnow retiring at the end of this season, I'm not going to say that that's not the case because I think it took everything he had to come back this year. These rumors didn't come out of nowhere about Frank Ragnow retiring. I think it took everything in Frank's ability to come back this year. Frank is only 28 years old. 
Um, I would assume he's going to turn 29 during the NFL season. It's quite possible that Frank Ragnall could retire before the age of 30. When you have a toe that you can't get operated on, that's literally bothering you every single game. I remember when he went out, I think it was the, the Tampa Bay game, the playoff game, and Frank went down. Graham came in, took a couple of snaps, but we sitting there holding our breath because that's how valuable Frank is to the team. So let me ask you this. If the Detroit Lions were to bypass a wide receiver, they bypass a defensive end and or quarterback, cornerback in the first round, and they take a center, they take Mr. Powers. What are you going to, how are you going to feel? I would be, I would understand it, but I, I would just assume, okay, Brad, you know what? If that's what you see, if you see that happening, I got to trust. Y'all ask me to trust, and I do. I do trust him. I question a lot. I wouldn't necessarily question this, but I would say, okay, listen, it's time to get down to business. We, we got to get this defense right. There's no missing this year. You cannot have a Broderick Martin this year, right? So Frank Ragnall retiring at the end of the 2024 season. How would you feel? How would you feel if we do take a center in the first round like we did back in 2018? Eventually, you got to draft an offensive lineman in the first round. We haven't had to do that for years. As a matter of fact, the last time we took two offensive linemen in three years in the first round, we took Taylor Decker, then we took Frank Ragnall, and then in 2021, we took Panay Sewell, right? So in six years, six or seven NFL seasons, we took three linemen, and guess what? Those linemen are still here and are still staples a foundation of our football team. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel as well on a push to get the 20, 20.5, hopefully by the NFL draft. You can help me do that. Also, I'm not sure if I'm going to make any content on Wednesday, the 24th prior to the NFL draft. I've got to finish that spin wheel. I didn't get a chance to count the number of entries that will be added to the spin wheel. Check my community post for that. Uh, some sometime between today and Thursday, I have to prep. I have to get the scenes right. I'm having some guests on and I have to tomorrow is going to be a hectic day on top of a full day of work. So there may not be any content tomorrow, but it doesn't matter. I wanted to go live and maybe do Detroit Lions weekly. We might do that later on in the day. It might be after four, somewhere around there. We might still have that tomorrow. So, But that might be all I can pull because Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is going to be a long day. My hope is that we are at 21,000 by the end of Saturday night, and then I'm prepping for another giveaway. So you guys are awesome. Could not be here without you because this channel is made possible by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. Consider subscribing, as I said earlier, and if you want to become a member, get behind the scenes content, early videos, and different things like that, and also special perks and emojis and member badges, consider clicking the link in my description. Start as low as $2.99. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other, and as always, go Lions.